Coach, it's great to see you. I hope you're, you and your team had a great Thanksgiving. I know it's not a restful week with the Alabama game coming up. Right, yeah, it, it's not. Yeah, a lot of preparation, <laughs> and certainly uh, our focus is on the Iron Bowl. But we had a chance to practice early on Thursday, get out with families. All the players had a chance to, to get with coaches and, and somebody uh, to be here during this time, and, and it was good. Uh, but refocus back now on uh, getting ourselves one more day prepared before we go out there and play tomorrow. Coach, you, you've seen some big rivalries in, in your, your life and your career, uh, and I'm sure everyone has whispered to you, Coach, let me just explain to you what this is all about, but it seems like you have a pretty good grasp uh, once you land in this state. But as, you, as you're you know, going through the final workout in a minute and, and the meetings uh, before this game, what, what do you feel and what do you think about this uh, event? Yeah, well, the, the first question I got asked after I did my press conference on the 24th was, <laughs> You know, what do you know about the Iron Bowl? And so you knew right then and there how important this is. Rivalry week, it's, it's, it's important for a lot of reasons. But, you know, you look at your schedule, you know at the end of the year, you want to finish with a win, you want to finish successfully, and you're going to finish against the team you play every single year. And there's a lot on the line, you know, the fan bases, everybody. And, and the one thing that I've been asked all week, you know, what do you know about the Iron Bowl? Well, I've, I've watched this game and it's one that every single year you're looking forward to, no matter where you are. You know who's playing in the game. It's Auburn, Alabama. And so to be a part of that, we're excited for it. You know, we, we need to focus on the game and what we have to do to win it, uh, but also know that this is a special game and, and there's a lot that comes with it. And so handle that properly and then go out there and play four quarters and, you know, be ready to fight. It's a rivalry game. You never know what can happen, and certainly what our, that's what our focus is. It would also seem, and I want you to answer this, as big as this theater is going to be tomorrow, and it's huge, uh, you've already played at Penn State in prime time at a whiteout. You've played Georgia. You've been to Texas A&M. You've been the gauntlet. Uh, as big as this game is, I, I would dare say this, this team of yours is well prepared for it. Well, I hope so. I mean, that's really what this whole entire season has been about. You know, every single game you learn something, you apply it to the next week, you get better, hopefully. Um, you know, and we did some things early on in the season. We've had a few games that – have been disappointing, uh, but you learn from that and you apply it to what you're doing. And right now our team is, is very focused on what we have to do to be successful in this game. You know, four quarters, execution, all the things we talk about each and every year, but at the same time, go out there and, and like you said, this stage and, and playing in this game, be excited about that. Enjoy the opportunity when you step on the field and you're playing against a really good football team. Alabama's, you know, one of the best teams in the country and have been for a long time. Well. Have yourself ready to play and certainly, you know, go out there and, and what we say, cut it loose and go out there and play four full quarters. Coach, I, I know if, you, if you're watching this from a distance, you can, you can say to yourself, well, three weeks ago this program in, in some ways controlled its own destiny and now uh, it doesn't. Uh, I know these are more for after the season evaluations, but in the moment, what, what are you feeling about where this team is? Yeah, we did. You know, we had that six and two start and you put yourself in a position to do exactly what you said, control your destiny. And, you know, it, it comes down to you're playing really good teams. You know, e that's the one thing. I mean, you're playing really good teams. You get into your division and everybody wants to win. Everybody wants to play for a championship. Well, you got to understand what that takes week in and week out. And so, you know, it's, it's not ever one thing. Uh, it's a combination of things. But what we feel like here is you know we're building this culture we're building this this program to hopefully be a championship type program and what our team did this year and the things that we've learned and certainly the season's not over yet we got to go finish tomorrow um, you know we got to take all that when the season's over what do we what do we learn from that how do we apply it moving forward what are some of the pieces that we need what can we do better as a staff you know you really got to evaluate starting with me and everybody in the program what we're doing but no you know, we're not that far away. And, you know, that little gap takes a lot to really close that, to, to be able to be that type of team. But it's there, and now we just got to get the right pieces in place to go out there and have a chance to do that in the future. Coach, I know it's one thing to, to look back after the season, but a lot of times, and you've done this, you made, you made a tough call early in the season with, with your own staff. You have to make changes uh, along the way to your, your team personnel. How difficult is it as this train is racing to stop for a second and go, I, I think this needs to be changed or tweaked? Yeah, it's difficult because there's so many things happening and there's so many other factors too. You know, and 
One of the things, you know, it's, it's never one particular player or one particular situation. It's, it's a combination. And that's really what I think you have to evaluate every single week is, you know, are we headed in the right direction? Are we doing things that we need to be doing to continue to be successful? And if, if not, you need to make a change. And so you, you hope you don't have to pivot necessarily during a season. You hope you're just tweaking because you've prepared yourself leading into that properly. Uh, but sometimes as the season goes on, you need to pivot. You've got to change. And, and I think that's important to identify that and recognize, all right, this is not going the way we want it to, or, hey, these are things that we can do a better job of. And, and you make those changes, and then you go full steam ahead with whatever it is you're doing moving forward, and, and you believe in that, and you try to go execute that to the best of your ability. You've done this for, for a long time at a very high level, and it, I'm, I'm, I'm offering this from a distance, but it seems like you have a specific idea of how not only you want your schemes to look, but the culture of a program. How difficult is that to, I mean, essentially you've parachuted in to a program that existed and you're trying to change it, but it's not easy to do uh, in a short period of time. How do you do that? Yeah, well, no, it's not easy, but I also think you know, you surround yourself with, with the right people. And, and I also think it's, as we came in here and inherited this football team and, and there was changes made on the staff, and that's, that's not easy on players. I went through four head coaches when I was a player, so, you know, I'm sensitive to that. But it's also identifying why for you as an individual this is going to be good um, and why this is important for our team. You know, I always think you have to identify that. This is why we're doing this. This will help you. This will help us. And, and I really think our team has responded to that. And I do feel like there's leaders on this team that want to be the foundation of the future of this program. They're going to play their last game in Jordan-Hare Stadium. But they've also worked really hard to help set a foundation for the future of Auburn football. And I appreciate that. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.